don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no puns. Not a lot of you are grown up. Hey, and welcome to Gen X Grown Up. I'm George, and I am a Gen X Grown Up. With me always is my co-host, Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Doing great. Wonderful. And this is Comic Sans One Shot. We got another preview given to us. Yes, sir. From uh, Geeks Worldwide. And it comes from Image Comics. Yep, number one with a bullet. Take us through a little bit where this is coming from, because I don't even really know these the people who are creating this. Well, this creative team actually worked together before. This is brought to us by the writer uh, Jacob Saman and a fantastic artist Jorge Corona. Now they Jorge worked on, Corona. Jorge Corona. All right. Now these guys actually worked on an image series before called The Goners. Okay. Um, I think you you briefly told me a little bit about right, that. One. That one is um, it's an interesting. It's kind of a horror thing. Jacob, he actually has also worked on some of the Marvel uh, animated uh, cartoon series. Really? He's done okay. Avengers, writing for Avengers Assemble. I'm sure nice. everybody's seen that or heard everybody, of that. Everybody, right? We've all seen that. Ultimate Spider-Man. Okay. And uh, Jorge, he also has some accolades of his own. Okay. He has uh, done We Are Robin, the art for that, and I'm sure a lot of people have checked out We Are Robin. So we just did a preview for Nightwing number 31. Right. We Are Robin is right in our wheelhouse. Yes, sir. Um, he's also done, um, he also has his own series that he okay. actually wrote into the art for, and that was Feathers, and that one was okay. uh, brought to us by... Um, uh, Boom Studios. We were lucky enough to get, I believe it was like four or five pages yep. worth of issue number one. We did. And it was exciting. It was exciting. To say the least. I'll say the first thing that grabbed my attention, which maybe this is true with all comic books, maybe it should, uh, was the artwork. The artwork, right. Uh, Jorge brings some very memorable visuals. He has so. a distinct style. He does. It's unique and it's mm -hmm. definitely an eye catcher. They're really... I don't know how else to say it. They're busy. Like my eyes felt like they had a headache at first <laughs> because there was just so much there, so much color. Right. So beautifully done. It reminded me an awful lot of a of a really frenetic Aeon Flux. If anybody remembers oh, from the old yes, MTV that's a days. Great comparison because yeah. the art style is unique and there are some similarities. Yeah, there. very like some angular stuff, but some stuff that looks like, I don't know, maybe like it was meant to be unfinished uh, right. kind of a feel. I really like that. What about no, you? No, the first thing that stuck out to me was, you know, the whole vibe I was getting from the, the previews I seen out there in the preview we saw. This is kind of like a seems like a dark take on the social media world. Sure, absolutely. That's what and the whole premise of the book is, right? Right, and in the preview video they have out there, they show um, kind of the transition of uh, different uh, video recording devices, and they ultimately get to this contact lens. Right, and yeah. And you know, that contact lens where you can take a video and all that stuff, it just seemed like the natural evolution. Yeah, it's it like the called, next um, thing. Iris. Iris. Yeah, which perfect name right right so this is not too different from our own world so it seems like in a no. not too distant future folks that are using this stuff to invade people's privacy you know right privacy is to me the central theme in what we what we read in these few pages right um, we have the main character uh, Nash Wong right and she is an internet darling right, right? I mean she's like a social media personality yeah she, you know she's the person that everybody's looking at on Twitter and Facebook and those kinds of things. In their preview video, they talked a little bit about it where she has a sex tape released of her that was recorded right. with these contact lenses and it seems to completely be against her will, not only that the thing was recorded in the first place, but then it being released. It covers an interesting topic, you know, kind of the apathetic stance that people seem to have taken when it comes to uh, social media and the invasion of people's privacy. Yeah, because it's, it's very much like, well, if you didn't want that picture out there, you should shouldn't have taken it. Really? That's not right. That's I mean, one of the arguments, you know? You know what about and the person who went into that person's home, essentially? I mean, exactly. just because it's an electronic device doesn't mean it's any less personal than your house. And, you know, and that's a huge thing. And that's what's, uh, you know, I really like that about what you know the potential that number one with the bullet has yeah. because not only does it look like it's going to have kind of horror or mystery elements sure. but it's also a thinker i mean you got something to reflect on it's got some social commentary for sure yes yeah i do want to talk a little bit about what number one with a bullet means because that title kind of threw me off so the number one i guess this is for her number one fan right which is really interesting because it looks like at the start of 
each of one of the stories, the number one fan sends her a tweet or a text or a message or something along those lines. Right. Stories. So, in the bullet, the number one with the bullet, um, you know, from the previews we've seen out there so far, uh, they say that there's going to be bodies piling up. I feel like she's the victim here. She absolutely you is. Know, and that's what he's trying to say, it feels like to me. Exactly. All you these got celebrities the have been the victims, and we haven't seen them that no, way. No, absolutely not. It's like, what are you doing to get that video out there? Why and haven't you been more secure exactly. with your data? That brings up a good point. What about the guy in the final frames of the preview pages we have? He's walking up to her when she's on the rooftop bar. That's interesting. So in that preview, we see that they're on this rooftop bar, and she's kind of hanging out. Uh, uh, Nash Wong's hanging out with her co-workers. And then you have this guy, seems like a fan. He comes up to her, and he whispers some cryptic message right before he throws yeah. himself. What is it? He's coming, coming around. around. He's right. coming around. Yeah. Number one with a bullet is going to be released on November. November 1st, yep. New Comic Book Day, Wednesday, right? Yep. Uh, it's going to be, I think, a pretty big success. Um, I encourage everyone out there to go pick up a copy that first day. Definitely go pick this one up, guys. I mean, it's from All-Star Creative Team. I mean, we've seen some of the great stuff they've done in the past. This one's definitely going to be worth your attention. Great art, compelling story. The dialogue was really well yeah. done. Uh, if you can... Go to your com local comic book store on November 1st and pick this book up. I totally recommend it. What about you, Chris? 100%. I mean, this one looks to be interesting. I'm very excited for New Comic Book Day on November 1st. That's awesome. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to click subscribe down below and click that little bell icon and become part of our notification squad so you won't miss our next video. And if you did enjoy the video, Leave us some comments down below. Tell us what happens when you go to your comic book store and buy number one with a bullet. Remember to click that thumbs up button down below and share the video out there with your friends wherever you hang out online. Bye, and we'll see you guys next time. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no puns. Not a lot if you're a grown up. No more washing shows till sunrise. Unacceptable for grown ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries. Basically, life sucks as a grown up.